Welcome back, Seven Grade Files. I'm Miss Whitaker, and I'm excited to have you guys join me for another math lesson. Let's get started. This is week four, day two, and today we're going to discuss SOL 7.10a. <clears throat> so here we have week four, day one, answer key. Yesterday you were supposed to you were supposed to solve these three questions by determining the slope from the tables and also writing the equation y equals mx to represent the relationship. Please take a moment to check over your answers, check your work, and also look and see what you did differently if you did not get the answers correct. So number 14, I wanted to point out that the y values are decreasing by two. So when the values are decreasing, you would represent that change with a subtraction sign. So you would use subtraction to denote that change. So it's decreasing by two each time, so you will write subtract two. Then the y values are increasing by four each time, so you are going to denote that with a plus sign, so plus four. So how do we find the slope change over change in y over change in x will give you negative 2 over positive 4, which can be simplified to negative 1 over positive 2, which is equal to m. <clears throat> now to write an equation that represents that relationship, you're going to use y equals mx. And you are going to substitute m for the slope you found, which is negative 1 over 2. And then <clears throat> fill in the rest of the formula. So y equals mx is now y is equal to negative 1 over 2x, or negative 1 half x. You also could write it y uh, is equal to negative 0.5. That is the same slope. Okay, and then also number 15, I wanted to note that this example looks a lot like the example we had for our guided practice in yesterday's lesson. Even though, so you have y values that are increasing, but they are not increasing by the same value. Same thing on the x with the x values. So just like our other example, all we need to do is use one change in y over one change in x. Because even though they're not changing, the y values and the x values are not changing, by the same value, the ratio between the two, the ratio between x and y will always be the same. OK, so even if you use if you use <clears throat> y, I'm sorry, six over two, you will get three. However, if you use 12 over four, you still will get three. So. Just remember that just because they're not changing at the same. By the same value doesn't mean the choke, I'm sorry, doesn't mean the slope is going to change. So 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3. 3 is your slope. So you will write the equation y equals mx. Substitute m for the slope you found, which is 3. So you write the equation y is equal to 3x. So let's move on to today's lesson. What are we doing today? Today we will learn how to determine the slope m as a rate of change in a proportional relationship between two quantities giving a verbal description, including those represented in a practical situation, and write an equation in the form y equals mx to represent the relationship. So basically, we are determining slope from a practical situation or a verbal description, and we're also going to use slope 
to help us write the equation to represent the relationship. Okay, materials needed for today's lesson. You need pencil, paper, and a Desmos calculator. This is the link to the website so you can bring it up on your laptop. So you also need to write down your notes, solve your guided practice problems, and your you try problems in your notebook. If you have access to a printer, you can print out slides six through eight, the full sheets, and use those sheets to follow along with the lesson. So we have vocabulary. However, these are the same vocabulary words from the last lesson. So if you are having a hard time remembering some of these words or understanding some of them, then you can always refer back to the lesson from yesterday. But they are here for your reference as well. So let's move into the actual lesson. We are going to practice finding slope from a word problem or a verbal description. So to do that, what you're going to do is look for slope keywords. So words that represent a rate of change. Because we know that slope represents the rate of change between our x values and our y values. Okay, so words like rate of change, speed, each, and per will be words that represent the slope. Okay, so number one, the water level is, I'm sorry, the water level of a river is receding at a rate of one half foot per day. Write an equation that expresses the relationship between the water level and number of days. So our uh, Slope keyword will be per. Okay. So it says that the water level is receding at a rate of one half foot per day, which means each day. So how would you write that as an equation? We're going to use y equals mx to describe or represent our relationship. So y is equal to what's happening every day is receding by one half foot. So slope so slope is one half. Replace m with slope. You just want to continue writing the equation as you see it. Okay. So F represents the number of the number of days and Y will represent Y represents the water level. Okay. Number three. Santina earned $160 selling 32 cupcakes in the first two hours of the local big sale. Write an equation that represents the relationship between the money she earns and the number of cupcakes she sells. So in this problem, there is no obvious slope keyword. However, we still can figure it out by looking at what they're asking us to find. What relationship, because they give us three different units. They talk about money, cupcakes, and hours. We do not need all of those units. So let's figure out what they're really asking us to find. It says write an equation that represents the relationship between the money she earns, and the number of cupcakes she sells. Okay? So, it tells us that she earned $160 selling 32 cupcakes. All right? So, to find our slope, 
we are going to have to first find the unit rate. The unit rate also refers to a constant rate of change. It's basically how much there is of something compared to one unit of something else. So we want to figure out how much money is she making from selling? <clears throat> how much money is she earning by selling one cupcake? If she sold one cupcake, how much money would she make? So we figure that out by dividing the money she made divided by the number of cupcakes she sold will tell us how much she made for one cupcake. So $160 divided by 32 will give us five. So she makes $5 from selling one cupcake. <clears throat> and that would represent our slope. So to write our equation in the form y equals mx, we are going to substitute m for the slope we found. So y is equal to 5. So now we can figure out how much money she will make by selling any number of cupcakes. So X represents number of cupcakes. And Y. is equal to money. Okay. <clears throat> so at this point, you are now going to attempt to solve the you try question. There are four questions and when you are done, so take about 10 minutes or so, 10, 15 minutes, to solve the you try questions. There are four questions. And when you are done solving those, you are going to head over to Clever and complete two dream box lessons. And the answers to the you try problems will be displayed in the next lesson. Okay, guys. I'm gonna see you tomorrow.